Okay, reading. Uh, can you see this? Uh, reading between the lines. This is one expression that I will share with you. Um, it's very popular in the reading literature. So, do you want to know how to use it and what it means? I guess you will say yes. By the way, let me introduce myself. I'm Jan Pathak Puton, and this is my show, English in the Garden. As you are sure, um, one of the things that I usually do uh, is sharing with you my English language learning strategies and the tips on how to teach and how to learn the English language, which is a global and international language for people around the world. And reading is important. There are many kinds of reading, um, you know, cross reading, uh, reading for pressure, uh, intensive reading and extensive reading. And but one of the things that you need to do when you read something or anything is to read between the lines. This is of course a metaphor or a comparison. Uh, reading between the lines means reading carefully, inferring, you know, uh, or summarizing or concluding from what is not written in front of you. Now, uh, and this is important too. So reading between the lines is inferring. You can infer from sentences or from the reading in front of you. This is reading between the lines. For example, um, uh, for example, you can say that Tim has three cars, ten houses, and he owns three companies. He has a villa in Switzerland. He has uh, ten thousand shares in the U.S. You know, he owns many plots of land. So reading between the lies from this text, we can say that Tim is a billionaire. Nowhere in the text, nowhere in the text will, see, will you see the meaning Tim is a billionaire. So Tim is a billionaire is an inferring is something that you conclude from the reading passage. So reading between the lies requires critical thinking skills. You need to read something critical. Don't just in you know don't just look at what is written. You need to read between the lies and see from the text, the hidden meaning. Okay, and so this is why reading is also an intellectual exercise. Now, the more you read, the better your thinking skills will be. It's also enjoyable. It is something enjoyable and intellectually challenged. Uh, so, this is the word for you, reading between the lines. Thank you for watching. If you like my show, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm Jan Pathat Puton. Uh, my show, English in the Garden. Of course, I'm not in my garden, in my library, actually. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. If you have any questions, you can ask me, you know, you can actually interact with me. Subscribe to my channel, Janpa channel. And
you will have access to hundreds of short video clips that will help you uh, improve your English language learning and your teaching skills of the English language as well. Okay. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is my mobile English in the garden.